woof, 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 woof. And now that woof, 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 woof. <laughs> That's just the new sounds of the vlog. Got your poo right here, buddy. We're swaying here on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're eating the garbage. Again. Go, 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 go. In our last episode, we introduced you guys to our new foster puppy, Rojo. And while the three of us absolutely love Baja, it's time for us to try mainland Mexico. So tonight, we're gonna cross the Sea of Cortez over to Mazatlan and begin a new adventure. Good morning from La Ventana. Last night, we tried to create the world's coolest hot spring hot tub here on the beach and it meant we needed electricity from our van. So, we brought the van right down onto the beach in the middle of the night and it is super soft sand, so we've been stuck. And we've got a little crew in here today trying to help us out, but I don't know guys, it's not looking so good. Yeah, 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 oi, oi, oi. It's just being patient and not like, trying to get shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. So we're just trying to like smooth out the sand, build a little runway, get a little progress, reset, get a little progress, reset. We're actually going the opposite direction that we want to go. There's a, there's a less soft area where we can maybe turn around. Turning in sand is no wow. Yes. Are we free? Yes. <laughs> bye bye, Olivia. I'm going to be able to rent. Edgar. Adios, amigo. Bye. Bye. See you. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Okay, we're finally leaving La Bantana. <laughs> store so we could stock up on some stuff here in La Paz and this is where he brought me guys. Wow, muy mas viduras por favor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so time to reroute the plans guys. Okay, I and wanted to find... And wait, I just have to tell them how great Ro was on that drive. That was our first hour long drive with Rojo and he lied right in between us, didn't make a peep. He's kind of perfect. Proud now mom. he's eating our garbage so. You're such a proud mom. <laughs> it's a win-lose. All right, so we made it to La Paz. We're actually running a little bit late on time. Is it hot? I lost my shoes. Beck doesn't know where her shoes are. It's probably the night that we were, last night, when we were digging out this hot tub. We've got this dug out, nice tarp, big area. The PVC pipe. And this pump is gonna be pumping hot water from a well, fresh water, we just into the tub. <laughs> no, no pedal? Oh, I'm not used to these rules and regulations here. Oh my no, gosh, we're gonna leave them alone for the first time. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. Rojito, we gotta puppy, puppy proof the van. Oh my gosh. He's, he'll be fine. Or you could just go in. I'll, I could just go in. In the week we've been foster parents, we have not run into a place that does not allow mascotas indoors. So Eamon's gonna run and get some groceries for us. We're actually planning on leaving Baja today. So we gotta stock up because we have a long journey ahead. Bro, I just gave you food and now you're eating the garbage again. <laughs> All right, the fridge is stocked for our 16-hour mission. Mainland, here we come. In order to get to mainland Mexico from Baja, Mexico, you have to take a ferry. Eamon and I are trying to get on the cargo ferry, and about a week ago, we were at this port sorting it all out. So we will bring you back to then. Just arrived at the ferry terminal. Apparently, we need copies of certain documentation, which we don't have, but also, apparently, the parking attendant will do copies. So we're gonna go check that out and then head in and try and get our vehicle registered first. For six pesos, he made a photocopy of my passport as well as my 
your tourist permit for Touristo permit. And I've already got a copy of my vehicle registration and now we're going in. I just went in and spoke to the same lady. I don't know if she remembered me or not. <laughs> but I told her that we are looking to go to mainland on cargo. <laughs> So she said you go through inspection, you don't need a ticket, and then you buy the ticket, uh, and then you're good, and it leaves at five. So okay. I said, okay, we'll be back in an hour. We gotta try to tire this guy out, because right now he's a sleepy monster. Look at him, oh my gosh. Camera's so dark. I'm also so hungry. I we know. shower, get our lives organized. Should we go this way? Look, there's water right there. Should I think it'll be sleep? nice, yeah. It says Pichilingue Beach right there. Back lunch. He's flying. <laughs> He's just using his back legs. This was to tire him out, but I beach, think I'm gonna buddy. be pooped. How was the beach? <laughs> you were going in the water a little, weren't you? Didn't realize that angle. Well, I was gonna tell you, we still got a few LaCroix. We're having lunch, we're at a beach. We got about half an hour to shower, clean up, and get back to the ferry terminal. It's not drama. Okay, muchas gracias. We're in. We're in. For those interested, we've gone through inspection and now they've weighed the vehicle, asked us some questions about the vehicle, and now I think with this information we pay based on the weight, the size, we'll see how much it is. No, re no reservation. No. No problem. I feel like maybe they're checking to make sure there's room for us. I've asked like five times. Is it possible to go tonight? Are we going tonight? No mañana, Mazatlan. But I'm having a little bit of difficulties getting through. Okay, gracias. We actually get uh, breakfast and dinner too, babe. Oh, seriously? Come check that meal out. Are you sure we're on the cargo then? Yeah, yeah. I said, can we sleep in a van? She's like, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. For those who don't know, Beck is known for getting very sick on large boats. Large or small. She's just not very good Sometimes on boats. Sometimes small is worse. This is a very large boat. This is not a small boat. This is probably the biggest ferry we've ever been on. And I don't know. It's uh It should be interesting. It could be dicey. <laughs> Reversa? Oh. Bro and I aren't so sure about this, huh, buddy? <laughs> All right, this is home for the next 16 hours. We gotta figure out where this guy's gonna poo. That's my number one concern. So like I think we've mentioned, this is not a normal passenger ferry. This is a cargo ferry, so it's mainly truckers. This was, how much was it, babe? 281 US dollars. 280 US dollars. Do you have any idea where you're going? Trying to make it a 
<laughs> the genuine state of confusion on her face is priceless. Where are we? Crew's resting. This way. Ah. Those guys have definitely never seen a vlogger. <laughs> And now that <laughs> that's just the new sounds of the vlog this evening. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And we have two tickets: one for Daisy You Know breakfast tomorrow, and no. one for dinner this evening. I'm thinking because we're on this ship, it might be better to cook for ourselves. But you know, your boy Eamon has got to go check it out. I'm just curious, like what it is, you know, <laughs> see see what the chefs are cooking. So Ro and I are gonna hang out while you go do that. Cause I'm gonna go suss it. If it's good, we're gonna try it. If it's not, we're gonna make nachos. All right, folks. I think the kitchen was closed, so we're making nacho cheese sauce, not full out nachos, because I'm already seasick. <laughs> Freaking. Half an hour in, and I'm, I gotta lie like this. I can't really sit up. I'm so useless. And then we I also met the cutest German couple, okay? Cute looking couple with four kids taking two years off traveling the world. They shipped from the UK to Halifax. We were talking to them about like shipping and the company they use and all that. Four kids! Family goals. Family goals, definitely. You'll probably meet them tomorrow. If you guys have never made Lauren's nacho cheese sauce, it's pretty trippy. Dude, what did you just say there? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're swaying here on the ship. <laughs> uh, it's pretty trippy. It's literally carrot, potato, some spices, nutritional yeast, tomato paste, garlic, salt, pepper. It's not that complicated and it's taste, can taste like nacho cheese. You just blend that all up and you can just smother it on anything. Three different dipping options to topes, peppers, <laughs> and asparagus. Probably the most random dinner of all most time. Most random dinner of all time, but I did download um, Fargo on Netflix. So I think we're gonna sign the vlog off hey. here. Sit. Sit. And we will report back in the morning. Hopefully, I'm not so seasick. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. Rojo slept all night! Very proud of the little Rojito. Yeah. Yes, yes you are a good boy. Yeah! He had 1 pee in the morning, actually 1 pee in the middle of the night, and 1 pee just now in the morning. And in case you guys are wondering like, where's Rojo being? Where's Rojo pooing? Well, just right here on the main deck. Let me just wipe it up. It's not that big of a deal. How's my best buddy? I'm really good. Are you? I was gonna you feeling say, a little better? Well, I haven't gone vertical yet, so I think that's why I'm feeling good. But also, it's funny because I told them that we were gonna watch TV and stuff, and we literally just went to bed instead. So, we went to bed at 9 p.m. last night, and it's 7.30 this morning. Our boy just took a big poo. Super proud of him. Good boy! Yes, you're the best! Got your poo right here, buddy. Remember the guys I was telling you about last night? Four kids, two adults, one van. Tight squeeze, huh, Rojo? <laughs> oh, wow! Wow, follow directions so. I'll open this joint. Wow! This is the beast. 
How do you change those tires? So the kids are still in underwear. Camera's not okay. Okay, no problem. I am so impressed. That dude built that entire cab, like the, the entire thing. He bought the truck and he bought like this wood, epoxy outside material and welded it. And the inside, the kitchen dinette actually slides out. So you can check them out on Instagram. I don't know how much they post there, but wow, inspiring family. While we were waiting, that family gave us a tennis ball, and I don't think Rojo's ever played with a ball. <laughs> we just got the official knock, and we are good to go. So, can you take that? Just like that. Mainland Mexico. Even though I got sick on the ferry, I thought it was a really easy, easy transition from Baja to mainland. Yeah, it was pretty simple. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't even know how long it was going to be, but basically, woo! But. Buddy! <laughs> basically, we just slept it off. We're a little ill researched when it comes to what we're going to do today, tomorrow, and the next couple of weeks. But we have had some interest in going down towards Puerto Vallarta because there's great kiting, there's supposed to be some really great beaches, and I'm not sure we're ready to just completely give up the beach yet. So as we're driving towards this vegan restaurant, Eamon kind of looks at me and he goes, this looks like it's out of the way, should we go towards Puerto Vallarta? And now we've just decided that we're gonna make the drive today and go towards Puerto Vallarta. Little one has been playing all morning, so he's sleeping and we just figured, let's do it. So guys, vamos! A Puerto Vallarta. said whenever we see a Coco Frio sign we're pulling over. I missed the turn by accident, but I think it was a far baby. <gasps> it literally keeps going up by degrees every half an hour. It's 35 degrees up. Wow, that's good. I don't know what good. that is in, in American. But it's, it's hot. bloody hot. How cute is this little kid with her little baby? Super cute. So we're excited to be here. We've got about another hour left to make it to this little beach town, and I think that's where we're gonna leave you for today, guys. Make sure you tune in next time to check out the beach town, see how Rojo is growing, and uh, that's pretty much all, all she wrote, folks. Also, just quickly, we've had a lot of questions about the music, where we get our music from for our vlogs. We've actually partnered with Epidemic Sound, whether you want to create Instagram videos or YouTube videos, Epidemic Sound has a huge library of copyright free music. All of it is amazing, so you can check it out, link below. Um, they do give us a little commission for every sign up, but it's absolutely free. You can do a free trial, try it out. And just a little tip, I really like the um, link button. So once you find a song you like, you can just click, it's like two little circles, and then it suggests a bunch of other songs that are similar. It's awesome, we love using it, and if you want, check it out. Um, boy? Where am I supposed to sleep here?